I think this is going to go very well today. We have a special guest. You guys remember Benny? I haven't done a video about him in a while because he's a pain in the butt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a, uh, he is, he's a wild man. Uh, he just likes playing a ton. He's got his own little routine and majority of it involves him being super annoying. He'll be napping right? any minute, any, yeah, any second. I, well, the problem was he was napping before Maddie came over here. And yeah, so now he's we're very calm all the time. You know what we need? If we have a toy that doesn't squeak, we can get through this. Go see if you can grab something real quick that doesn't squeak. What about like a bowling ball? Well, let me show you. Look how big he is. He is massive. Huge dog. Hey, what's like, this? he loves tug of war. What's this? What's this? Oh, you're not really good with dogs, huh? What's this? You gotta make it intriguing to him. Let me go grab something. I'll go make it, I'll make toy it intriguing. Band. Hey, what's this? And life is gonna be good. Oof. Here we go. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. There you go. And we're just gonna hold on to it. Everything's gonna be all right. Okay, back to it. Let's get this video officially started. Uh, as you saw in the title, we are talking about Maddie's big break on Disney. How did Disney propel Maddie into what he is today? That is the question, and we're gonna answer that today. <laughs> um, it all started back in 2009. There was a Disney show called uh, Disney's Next X. It was on Disney XD. It was them uh, getting into like the action sports, which is really cool. It was awesome, the amount of effort that they put into it. Now, the whole thing with Maddie being on the show came out of nowhere. Heading out to California, he was gonna go make it big, big time, right? Disney. Um, I actually Spike. remember having to do like the, the casting interview thing. Oh, really? You did your casting house. for you? Like, uh, I had to send in like a video just talking and oh, answering simple really? questions. And I actually remember it because we were at the skate park and the whole idea came along and my dad's like, yo, we gotta, for some reason, I think we had to drop you off back at your house. Like we all rolled together for some uh -huh. reason or something. It was like, we have to go back to Scott's house and then we have to um, go film this thing. And I was like, dad, it's nine o'clock already. Like I need, I need to go to bed because I was very strict when I was young. Like before school, Still I was in strict. bed. On his bed. I had an alarm at 9.01. Don't ask why I had an alarm at 9.01 that I would follow. So it was nine o'clock already by the time we got back. And I was like, dad, I, I don't want to do this tonight. Like I have to get to bed. And I remember we did it and it was like, a week later, they're like, all right, you're going out to California or whatever. Wow. Like, it was like, so, it was so quick. It was really cool. Yeah, I kind of forgot like yeah. how it all came about. I don't have any I don't know where it, it came from. I just remember doing that, like sitting on the steps in your house, just answering these questions hmm. or whatever. Yeah, I don't have any recollection of that, mm -hmm. but it was a while ago. Back in 2009, that's when it happened. Now, um, there's really no footage of this thing living anywhere. Not like, much. I searched the <laughs> internet, and there is nothing of this show. In the 2010 episode, like, or season or whatever they did, the next year, there is one that's, yeah, like, yeah. on YouTube. I even searched, like, Disney's, like, streaming. Nothing sh showed up. So, I did wind up getting one clip. It was the promo reel for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the promo reel and then we're gonna come back to you and then we're going to break it down and tell you all the crazy stories that go along with this because the truth is there's probably a couple people you might recognize in there <laughs> um, and I'm gonna break it all down and tell you exactly how, how it all happened because uh, I get, oh yeah, we forgot to tell them that I am on the show as well. Yeah, both this is your show. Disney break yeah. too. Yeah, but like I, I surprised Maddie on there like as a coach. Um, yeah, we'll explain that in a second. Let's just send you to the promo reel right all now. All right, get ready for 11 year old Maddie. Is it 11? 11, I was, wow, I was 11. Cool. On Disney XD, adrenaline, speed, determination are just the beginning. Five young athletes will put it all on the line for a chance to be the next X. They'll go extreme. I feel unstoppable. And you're going to go fast and go huge and learn a bunch of new tricks. I do a lot of competitions. It always makes me nervous, but it's really fun. I cheer and root for everyone, and I don't care who it is. I think I've got a shot at being the next X. If you know what to do, you're going to land it. Honing in their skills with the pros. And as soon as you grab it, kind of tweak it up a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. For a chance to show off at X Games 15. Stage is yours. <laughs> Who has what it takes to take it to the next level? Next X premieres Monday, June eighth on Disney XD. Yeah. My biggest takeaway from this whole experience is that I was very upset that they didn't let me do the ears. Oh, the Disney. That's like just the only thing, thing like, we all talked about. You're gonna see it on Disney, get, and then you draw the head. You do yeah, the. Okay. Oh. 
maybe you should have won. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you got to do it. All right, let's break this down. We have so much we need to talk about on this one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually play the reel and then we're going to stop it and explain little things that come up because there's so much we need to tell you on this one. So let's get things started. So as you can see, it's at Woodward, but this is not Woodward East in Pennsylvania. This is actually Woodward West in California. So I'm gonna stop it right here on all the people that are in the show. Now we're gonna start naming a few from there in the shot. That's actually not everybody, no, is it? No, definitely not. Oh, everybody. we're missing Tom um, and Mitchie. Yep, Tom, Tom, Mitchie, and Lincoln. Yep. So, but if you can see in the bottom left corner right there, that is Ian Bradley. That is me standing in between him and Maddie. So they were the only two BMX riders, were Maddie and Ian Bradley. Now, if you look to my left, the tall guy, that's Van Homan. Van Homan was actually the coach for Ian Bradley. Now, the guy in front of uh, Van Homan is Micah. Next to Micah is Billy Marks, who is a pro skateboarder. And then to the right, on the end of the screen, is Chris Cole, legendary skateboarder. Now, let me explain to you how the whole coaching thing works. So all these kids were picked to be the next X. They got to go and you know compete pretty much against each other and hone their skills. Now, every one of them had like a coach that they picked. Now, I was actually Maddie's coach, so I got to fly out there for that one. Now, Van Homan was Ian Bradley's coach. Billy Marks was Micah's coach. Chris Cole was Tom's coach. And Lincoln Ueda, pro skateboarder, uh, pro amazing vert skater, was Tom's coach. So uh, before we get into all the details, I'll play it a little bit further and we'll, we'll, we'll stop it. So see Maddie doing big dump of the can-can across the channel. <laughs> So there's the there's Maddie looking all cool. So we're gonna stop out Maddie trying that 360 tail up in the foam pit. Now the big thing to the 360 tail up was actually the trick that Maddie had to learn. Like Maddie had to land the trick technically. Like that was the whole idea of it, right? Yeah. So the whole idea of the show is that they're gonna give you a pro, and then you have to pick one trick. And we were there for one week in uh, Tehachapi over at Woodward West, and you're supposed to learn that trick. And then at the end, you kind of have like one big competition day where everybody does like a, almost like a contest run and you're supposed to incorporate the trick that you learned and then all the pros judge it and come up with who they think, you know, nailed it and is going to become oh, like I think you meant the to next say, X. Yeah, who is the next X? Yeah, who's going to become the next X, which is like the next X Games rider. And uh, it's, it was kind of cool because it was skateboard and BMX head to head, which has probably never happened. Ever. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, so everybody had to pick their own individual everyone trick. Everyone had to choose a, a random trick that they wanted to learn. So and, Maddie um, rolled up there and he's like, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to backflip the box. That was like the behind the scenes that nobody actually knows this. Um, I picked to learn a backflip. And sure enough, I learned a backflip in like, I don't know, pretty dang quick. Yeah. And then I flipped onto the, the resi or whatever, flipped onto, I think, the box jump there and then uh immediately they were like yeah you're not doing a backflip the disney people, <laughs> the disney people put a stop to that one so they, maddie yeah maddie like literally learned his trick did it um and they showed up and they're like you know it's a little too risky for a disney xd we don't want all these kids going out and doing backflips as if it's any different from a kid going out and doing any other trick on a bike or a skateboard yeah. you know but like they're like we don't want kids going home and trying backflips so Pick a new trick. I was like, oh, crap, here we go. So Maddie, yeah, Maddie shot like, for the start from that <laughs> one. Let's do it. Three whip. Yeah, 360 tail. This 11-year-old me probably weighed about 80 pounds at the time. No, I don't really know. Probably close to that, though, and then could barely move this bike at all. I don't even know if I was doing tail whips. Yeah, you were that, clearly you with know, tail whip. No, but I'm saying that, that oh, like, right. often. or whatever. It's not like I was a t big tail whip guy. Because I do have the shot of you doing, uh, when we did the thing with, like, NewJersey.com or whatever, and me and you filmed that video together, there's a shot of you doing a tail fly out from the, on the five-foot hip. Oh, okay. So, so you were doing tail whips. Like, yeah. you, you definitely had tail whips at the time, which is awesome. Um, but, yeah, 360 tail whip is a there's whole definitely, new whew. world. Especially bikes back then too weren't like extra light. They were actually like pretty, no. pretty solid. Yeah. Like they, they didn't make like really nice 18 inches back then. So I, I think, uh, I think that was a big stretch for you. But like you had somebody like Ian Bradley, um, he picked, uh, he, he had Van Homan as his coach. Mm -hmm. It's like teach me how to do tuck and Kept it a bit more simple. And, Kept but it way sure more enough, simple. he did the trick. You know, he yeah. definitely did the trick. And, and I think everybody or... did. I think everybody did their trick. Well, not everybody. Besides me. Yeah, <laughs> Maddie too. Well, Maddie did his original trick, but he did not get the 360 tail whip. The rest of the kids, um, they, like they were, I remember like, uh, 
Micah was doing like the high knee or something like that. Like you know, tuck like knee. Tuck knee. There tuck we go. Knee. Tuck knee. Yeah, high knee is something yeah, different. No. Isn't it? That's that's a running thing. Yeah. Uh, did the tuck knee, and then somebody was doing like a hand plan or something like that. Yeah, maybe? a Miller flip. Miller flip. That yeah, was, which is like a. That was Tom, I think. No, because Tom had Chris Cole and Lincoln Ueda did the Miller flip for Mitchy. I, I remember really? that one. Yeah, know. and then I don't I don't remember what Tom did. I remember he was like 360 in the box though, like on his skateboard. Well, I don't know if that was. They were dang tournament. good though. Yeah. That, so, they were and we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. I'll just tell you the competition went down like that, and uh, we all stood there. We all sat together, all the pros, and we're like, okay, well, I think Ian was the one who literally didn't know how to do his trick, and he learned how to do the tucker handers. So we named Ian Bradley the next X. Now, as we go further into this, when you're gonna realize that that was. <laughs> it, it wasn't the smart. Hey, hey, careful with that, all right? <laughs> I need to get a new tripod. It's a little bit bigger. We messed up big time, and you're going to see in a second. We'll keep it playing. I, so. I like that, man. I feel unstoppable. <laughs> I like it when my brace is on. Did they on tell everything. you to say that? They definitely told you to say a lot of things. Like, okay. they would ask you to say something, and then they'd be like, actually, what about this? You know? Really? Like, and then you're like, yeah, that's pretty awesome. We had a lot of fun, though. I remember it. Was, I feel unstoppable. <laughs> so cool. It was such a good so time. So we're stopping on the next rider right there. Uh, if you can see his name's Mitchie. Uh, he, he looks similar to, you know, the current one. I think Mitchie you Brusco. should be able to put, put it together. It's Mitchie Brusco. And if you know, if you know you, anything about skateboarding, yeah, come on now. you know Mitchie Brusco. Mitchie sure. Brusco is a gold medalist at X Games. Yes. So once again, we got it wrong. Ian Bradley did not make it to the X Games. Um, Mitchie, he got... <laughs> he got a gold medal at X Games, mm -hmm. and he did the first ever 1260 on That's a skateboard. That is unbelievable. Man, did we mess up on that one. Not, listen, I, we love Ian. Ian's a great kid, but I'm just saying, as the next X, we didn't make the right pick on that one. Um, so yeah, Mitchie was in the show. Insane. What an amazing skateboarder, seeing him that young and how good he was back then. And then short, like it really wasn't much longer, right? It was about two years. This was in 2009. Um, I think it was like within a year or two he was in x games yeah, he had uh, he was already like blowing up at that point like he had he was already getting yeah, like was, so much recognition and was. stuff like he's just unbelievable skater yeah that's right so there's ian uh ian zane bradley from new hampshire um right here another, another face one. that might look familiar to you this is tom but that's tom shar uh tom shar also, we messed up big time. He was the next X for sure. He ended up getting a gold in a skateboard yeah, at the X Games, but he also did the first ever 1080 on a skateboard, and he did that in 2012. So literally under three years after this, he, he was inventing tricks, and he got a gold medal in the X Games. So yes, we blew that one as well. So two out of five riders actually got X Games medals. Yeah, and uh, that's... That's Pretty just, insane to think about it is that wild. you guys chose differently. Yeah, we messed up big time. And two out of five really did go on to get X Games medals. It was, it was a big flop. It really was. Like, but dang. yeah, Tom is still skating. You know, he's killing it now. He skates park. He's got so much style, so mm -hmm. much control. Amazing skater. So, uh, and then the uh, other skateboarder was Micah. So Micah, he had Billy Marks as his um, mm -hmm. as his coach. And uh, that was the one that was doing the tuck knee. So there's a, a shot of Billy Marks. There's me doing the 360 whip, trying to show Maddie, I guess. Van Homan. Van Homan with the very signature tail. Yeah, see, right away, you're like, oh, red helmet, yeah. downside tail. Very iconic. And that's Van Homan. So there's, I think that was him learning the trick right there. I think it's the only one that they have on footage of learning the actual trick. Yeah, probably. Doing it, so. But man, it was, it was a crazy experience. Just like seeing like, the way that the producers at like Disney, like they were just boom, cameras, let's do this. And it's wild, especially f when you think about, you know, you were, you were a BMX rider, you didn't have to act, you didn't have to do anything like that. Like just imagine these Disney kids that are in all these shows growing up and like how much, you know, it, I'm not saying pressure, but like literally you're, you're, they're asking them to do like adult things. Yeah, yeah, way, yeah. You know, like no, this week literally felt like a week at Woodward West of camp. Like we just, we all stayed in bunk beds. Oh yeah. Laughed yeah, the whole entire time. Like it was just like, hey, did you learn your thing? Oh, cool. You learned your thing? Cool. You want to go ride this? You want to do this? Like we played around and yeah. And then they bring out the cameras and they would like, you know, it would be like showtime. Okay. This is what we're trying to film today. Like they had it all like, uh, you know, broken up. Okay, yeah, this yeah. is practice. This is explanation stuff. You're going to go with your coach right now. Like, um, but just like seeing just the camera show up easy, during yeah. the day, like 
it's, it's there's a lot of effort that went a lot into of big it. trailers set up i remember yeah. for all the camera stuff mm -hmm. and oh it was pretty epic it was really cool to be a part of like yeah. it's definitely cool that i could say that it was on disney channel yeah, you were a disney kid man you were it was only like a three minute episode by the way guys like it was a small they were show short. they were short. they were short episodes yeah so they would pop up like once a week for or for a couple weeks or whatever maybe there was like six of them or ten of them or something like that and uh, I remember them being really short episodes, maybe like three or five minutes. And then the last one was like a 15 minute special. Mm -hmm. So like they were really short episodes. It was a small show, but apparently it worked because they ended up doing a couple more seasons of the actual they, they, show. Yeah. You know, none of us got, uh, you know, invited back or cast it again. Mm -hmm. But I um, guess we missed, missed that one. Yeah. So I want to <laughs> actually talk to you about this. Like, did you notice that your life changed at all after that? Um... No, honestly, I don't think much okay. much changed Cause, after cause being on you, Disney. Because when you were nine, you ended up doing an interview with like some kind of New York newspaper. And uh, I'm just going to read some of this. It says, Maddie says it took a little work getting used to having television cameras and producers around. And this is you. Quotes right here. I learned that you have to do a lot of interviews, he says. It was fun, but then it gets kind of annoying. It's like I'll be riding and they say, come over here and it'll ruin my session. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Did I say that? Yeah. And that was when I was nine? Yep. That and doesn't then... make any sense. The show was when I was 11. Sorry, I meant to say whatever. It's 2009, you were 11. Okay. You get what I'm saying. That's so I'm like trying to, I'm trying to figure it's out. It's the same okay. thing, I'm like, just what? different numbers. Not okay. Really messed up. Sorry, but whatever. He was 11 years old. And then it says, um, you work through it though. And tonight, kids around the country will get a chance to see Kramer and others trying new stunts. And here's another quote from you right here. Quotation marks. I don't know if I'd say I'm a hero back home, Maddie Kramer says, but I do have a lot more friends now. <laughs> I mean, it could, times could have been different when I, you know, That's this is funny, wasn't it? This is more than half my life ago. I have no idea what, I thought that know. was funny. I found the interview and I was laughing, but. That's pretty cool that you found that. I'm, you know what, honestly, I'm sure that it was, like, after you tell people you're on Disney or something, I'm sure there's a lot more people that want to know what's going on with yeah, you or be course, friends of with course. you of Disney's course a, you know disney's a big deal you know especially back then too. especially when disney's you're a kid huge. and the only thing you watch is disney channel like mm -hmm. to be on disney channel in any shape or form you know yeah it was pretty crazy man um but then that year they ended up taking all the kids and bringing them to x games which was quite interesting that was like the next step of it which was really cool so they all got to go to x games and they they got the film like that portion of it um, we got to ride the X Games Park, which was pretty sick because I've never been oh, in the yeah, X Games. Guys, I've never gotten to do anything in X Games. Think game, about so that. So I actually got to go ride around on the X Games Park course. That's I remember, true. So, like, I, I just remember pumping these quarters with Ian. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, wow, I do remember that, man. That was that was crazy. And that year too, which is insane to me, is uh, I ended up getting my second gold medal mm -hmm. that year, which is wild. Mm -hmm. uh, the course was crazy. The course was like super. I don't know, it was huge. It was like the first real mix of concrete and wood at X Games. Did it have a capsule in it? Or it something? had the right. capsule yeah. in it. Um, it had like the concrete like box jump thing in the middle, but it was surrounded by like wooden things. Yeah. Like it was a crazy it was very intricate. course. And yeah, I ended up getting first place. It's so like, cool. I had a crazy run and it was one of the craziest days of my life. Like some most fatigue I've ever been riding. Um, and I shared the podium with... Uh, our Yoga. good friend Yoga Kanina mm -hmm. and Gary Young and yeah I, I, I was shocked when I won I couldn't believe it but it was definitely very happy about that so, so cool. yeah all my family was there I mean they usually were anyway but but that was just a really really wild wild year it was just a, a lot happened in that time frame in BMX in general like there was just so much money being thrown around in the sport mm -hmm. so many opportunities to do cool things like become the next X yeah that's I can't believe it BMX got some you know showtime on disney yeah. that's pretty cool mm -hmm. you know yeah I, I thought that was just a really cool thing and a really cool story that a lot of people don't know about you know you having that opportunity um i i wish i had more footage i wish i could show you like all the 360 mm -hmm. tail up fails and and all that i actually have that like i was i put it up as that picture of you doing that backflip that partial backflip so there is proof that you were doing the backflip. oh yeah there. um but yeah, they just That's never funny. used the footage and uh, Maddie could have been the next ex. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little trip back talking about something really cool that I don't think any of you really knew about. There might be some of you that caught the show, but it's yeah. been a very, very long time. And we're going to do more of these videos of just telling you these random stories, just something fun, something new. And I think, uh, yeah, I think I have an idea for the next one. I think, uh, I think I'm going to do the worst injuries that we had 
that weren't on a BMX bike or with a BMX bike. I think that's gonna be my next one. Yeah, we're gonna be thinking about it. I have, I have one, I have mine in my head. And uh, yours, I think you, you might not even have any recollection of, but I think- When I was a really young baby? Yep, yeah. yep. So, yeah, I, I don't bad. remember, I don't remember. I just hear about pretty it. Pretty bad, so. <laughs> All right, but that's it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.